Hi everyone, this is the fourth video on my new series on fertilizer. In this video, we will talk about what phosphorus or phosphate is. Guys, this is your routing elixir. There you go. I just simplified the main reason we use a 105210 in Sri Lanka. But you may not find the same composition of fertilizer in your own country. But what matters as a router is the middle number of NPK to be the highest. That is the P of NPK which stands for the phosphate value on your fertilizer mix. As you all know by now, I hold a high opinion of phosphorus. To me, roots are the main part of any plant and if the root structure is healthy, a plant obviously grows healthier and less susceptible to pest or fungus attacks. Even if you face a root rot, cleaning out the plant and repotting into sterilized media and a high dosage of phosphate fertilizer can cure the root rot with additional flushing and filtered light until recovery. Can anyone guess which Hoya as a live example I may choose to show the benefits of a 10-52-10 or a root enhancer? If you have watched my previous videos, you know by now that one of my biggest Hoya specimens, the Hoya finlaysoniae, went through the most horrific state of decline due to its roots being uprooted as some animal fell on it. This species of Hoya with its prehistoric cardboard-like dull green leaves drooped and dried out without arousing my suspicions. I thought this huge specimen was a goner. My only lifeline was the high phosphate fertilizer and yeah, you can also call it a root enhancer which came to my rescue and saved the Hoya. I sprayed it once a week until the color changed to a healthy green and could see the stems livening up. Since I've used this root enhancer or 105210 so many times before, I always knew it would definitely work for me with an abundance of roots, but I couldn't see the new root tips as I was too afraid of disturbing the whole plant by trying to take it out from its deep-seated cover pot even though the wine was repotted into a transparent pot. And due to the age of this wine, I was again put on the fence from thinking of its full recovery. In that case, I had to look for signs of new healthy sized growths to determine this to be out of danger. So as I am creating new content of my plant journey, you can take this Hoya Finlaysoniae to be a true testament of the works of phosphate in your fertilizer. Now let's get technical and find out what's being found on this second macro element phosphate scientifically just as nitrogen phosphate also helps the uptake of nutrients promotes cell division and development of new tissues as well as hardiness of plants and the timely maturity of the plant. In organic fertilizer making, I use a lot of potato and chow chow peels to enhance the phosphate element to the fertilizer. 
phosphate with potassium will also encourage blooming. But in my personal opinion, I reduce phosphate also when I need an orchid or hoya to bloom. This is where you have to reduce the nitrogen percentage in fertilizer also to discourage the inclination of growing but more focus on blooming. On that subject of potassium, I will talk to you in my next video as I will focus heavily on the blooming part of the plant. Until then, hope you enjoyed this video and please drop your questions in comments. See you again everybody. Bye.